If you have a Raza assistant and you have entities that you would like to extract that fall into any of these categories, we recommend that you use Duckling rather than trying to build rules or provide training examples yourself. Duckling is a service that lets you extract entities in a very fast, lightweight way. And today I'm going to show you how to get started with Duckling. The first thing you're going to need to do is to install Docker. And what that looks like is going to depend on your specific operating system and I'll have a link to this website below so you can follow these instructions to install Docker. So let's run through how to use Duckling to extract entities. I'm going to start by creating a fresh Raza pro project using Raza in it. Now that our assistant's been trained, let's talk to it. We'll start by saying hi. The assistant will say back and ask how we are. Uh, and I'm going to ask my assistant to do something that it can't yet, which is what is today? So I'm going to ask for the date and it's not going to work. What we're going to do is we're going to add the ability to a identify that today is a entity, that it's an entity that refers to a time, and to find and store the value of that entity so that we can use it for other things. The first thing we want to do is add Duckling to our config file. So I'm going to copy this example right here from the doc and then open up the config.yaml file in my assistant. I'm actually going to uncomment. Now that we've uncommented our pipeline, I'm going to pop Duckling in here at the end. So some of the options that you have with Duckling are the URL you can specify where your server is going to be hosted. Uh, so we'll be running our Duckling host server locally. And here it says to look for it on port 8000. If my Duckling server is not running on port 8000, I'll get an error. And also, what dimensions do we want Duckling to extract? So I am just interested in time right now, specifically day, so I'm only going to extract the time dimension. Uh, also right now, the locale is set to Germany and the time zone is set to Europe Berlin, and I'm going to remove both of those because those are not relevant to me. And you can also specify how long you want your assistant to wait before getting a timeout error. Um, and I don't care a whole bunch about how long it takes, so I'm going to remove that as well. So right now we're extracting this entity, but uh, my assistant doesn't know how to store it or how to retrieve it. So I'm going to add it as an entity. Entities, and I'm just going to say time is what the entity is called. And I'm also going to create a slot so that I can reference the value of this time entity. So I'm going to call my slot time as well. And then I'm going to specify that the type can be any. So it can have any sort of information in there. Um, we just know that the information is going to come from a time entity that's been extracted by Duckling. Now I'm going to add a new utterance. Uh, uh, utter time that just has the text it is and then says whatever the time slot has been set to. I also want my user to have a way to ask what the time is so I'm going to an add an intent ask time. Now I'm going to go to my NLU and create a new intent ask time and add some examples. Now, something that's very important to know is if you are using uh, Duckling, you do not need to tag the entities in your examples. And just add some examples of ways that somebody might ask about the time. From here, I want to also have an example of what this conversation might look like for a story. So I'm going to create a new story uh, and I'm going to call this story ask time. And the steps are going to be, uh, the user is going to have the intent ask time and and then the uh, assistant is going to utter what time it is and uh, utterances are actions. So back to our stories, action, and then utter time. All right, let's train our model. Once our model is trained, we're going to need to start our duckling server at port 8000. And the easiest way to do this is to use Docker, which is why I asked you to install Docker previously. And the command docker run dash p 8000 colon 8000 raza slash duckling. Uh, raza slash duckling is a Docker image that the Raza team maintains, uh, so it should be up to date. Opening a new terminal, I am going to start my Docker container that has duckling in it. And then in a, another window, I am going to talk to my assistant in the shell. From here, I'm going to try my new intent. What day is it today? And see what response I get back. And you can see that I get back the uh, UTC time code for the day. Um, and I didn't have to provide any examples and I didn't have to provide any mapping from the word today to a date. Um, you might want to, if you need a little bit more, you know, fancy formatting, uh, do that using an action and change the utterance a bit so that it's a little bit nicer looking. But I didn't have to futz with it. It was all handled automatically by Duckling.
So once you're done using your duckling server for your Raz assistant, you can kill it. So I'm just going to list all of the Docker containers that I have right here. I only have one, it's this Raza duckling mix you, and it's called pensive underscore hawking. So I'm going to say docker kill and then the name of the uh, container. And then if I list all my containers again, you can see that it's no longer there. So that's all you need to do to start and then stop a duckling server uh, and use it to extract entities using a Raza assistant. I hope you found this helpful and use it in your work.